Good day to you creatures of the multiverse. I'm Sega, and before the video properly starts and I have my gameplay footage going, I will say that I only started playing this game within the last month. So yeah, I'm not that great. Uh, on with the video. Wipeout 2097, a sequel to 1995's Wipeout, which I think hasn't aged very well, was released in 1996 for the Sony PlayStation, and would soon after be ported to Windows computers and the Sega Saturn, because everyone was playing that. Looking at critic review scores, the game was held in very high regard upon its release, and many still love it today. And why is that? Let's discuss. Wipeout 2097 is certainly better than the first game for one. The Wipeout games are 3D kart racer-esque games but with rockets instead. The game feels more fair and the controls are loosened up a bit compared to the first game where the kart control feels stiff and awkward. It feels a lot more smooth here like a wet wipe. Wet wipe 2097. And as you'd expect from rockets, your movement is so satisfyingly fast, very comparable to F-Zero, actually. Come on, Wipeout fans. It's true. Though this speed can feel quite awkward at times, where sometimes there's slight input delay, or you go too fast and donk on the wall. But other than those instances, the control feels nice. And then there's the items you can use, a speed boost and attacks to eliminate opponents. I'll get to that. I think that it's both the items and bombastic speed that make 2097 have a lot of kart racer energy to it. As I just touched on, attacking opponent racers. Most kart racing games have you using items to inconvenience other races so that you can get ahead, which is a good system. In Wipeout 2097 you can do that, but if you get strong enough items, or use enough items I believe, you can straight up kill them, blow them up. The race account will go down. And all this makes the game sound easy. But it isn't, because enemies can do the same things that you can. Though you will get a warning. 2097 is tricky, but not ridiculously hard. Which is nice. So, in summary, Wipeout 2097 is a great game that I recommend to Mars, back, and maybe to Subway. And I give it a rating of damn good. Good knee.